down this dirt road. Alright, Rich Camp, I set up a hammock and guys set up a couple tents over here in the forest right on the side of a gold river and uh, in the morning this is a late Friday and we will just sleep over and in the morning with dredging all Saturday well, let's go well, update well give me an air mattress <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> oh boy sleeping good in the neighborhood sleeping on the quad sleeping on the quad Early morning, me and Daniel we will have a nice breakfast. Eggs, sausage, fixing to go dredging. Look at this nice dredge can. One four inch, other four inch, two and a half, two and a half. And over there on the back, we got another guy with a four. Good stuff, good stuff. Gonna have a good day. Right, and now we gotta drag all these dredges all the way on the other side of the river and uh, we will be dredging. It's pretty rough to make it across, but we will do it. And we made it. Uh, here is a Daniel, me, Rob and uh, Walt set up all the way on the other side of the river. You can see here, I'm using my drone and you can see the rock so nicely. It's gonna help us so much for the next time we come over here. You can see the lines where actually the holes are and I will be flying around you know and just watching mainly the rocks you know this is for future when we come over here I'm controlling the drone I really don't see it you know this is a, when I came home I actually see how the rocks was actually clear to see in the water water was okay to see when I was dredging uh, you know I could see probably about a foot and a half and then it was kind of murky but on these videos it looks kind of nice and clear there was another guy over here dredging i didn't have chance to talk to him so i don't know who he was i'm hoping he's gonna contact me and you know maybe come next time and uh, there was other couple two guys up more up uh, river Left side you can see uh, the little beach area and the parking area when you come to the park uh, a lot of people fishing over there and you can park cars over there and to the right side to it it's a nice camping area and even to the left side and here we had another guy that was nicely in the middle I don't think I talked to this guy neither they they came I invite a couple people and they came earlier than me and I came late and one guy had a, his motor went down on, on his dredge. So he picked up and uh, left home earlier. And I hope this little flyover over this area where we're finding the gold will help people you know who watch this video to maybe slow it down and look where the rocks are, where the holes are. I will try make another one next time I go here with more high definition camera and from a little up higher so I can actually see a little better. This was like first time me with the drone over this place. And let's stop over here and let's look at this dredge. Yeah, that dredge is a beast, a nice one, nice one. So here you can see actually the parking area on the, when you come in. And uh, when you pass, then you go to the right side, that's where we had a tent set up and there's the little beach area. I will try to turn around here with a drone, kind of peek in. And it is awesome, you know, guys, you can camp here probably for a week and nobody would care. And over here, I'm looking on the back of the river, down flow the rocks goes maybe another half mile and then that's it 
over here you can see where we had the, the cooking area set up and my hammock and now we'll look back where we are dredging We got Walt, Daniel, Peter's in the water. My dredge is down here. Everybody's finding some gold. Got lots of people out here on the river today. Did a little two and a half. Somebody's over there, two people over there. We got Rob up here, Mr. Gold Potter. And then all of a sudden Daniel started hopping and jumping and hollering at me so come look at it because he found a nugget. He was all super happy and uh, I'm glad for him because he works very hard for this, his goal and look at this beauty. I know it's, it's a, a little fuzzy but I got some nice pictures of it. His Javarian riffles on his uh, Dreamat sluice caught it up. So, and this is the beauty. It's uh, about 3.26 grams. And I mean, look at this. It's, it's a nuggy. So, yeah, we got a lot of uh, guys now being crazy about uh, getting back in the river and trying to get more. And here, you know, we just started hanging out and, uh, you know, we already packed up everything and did some cleanups and uh, we had a couple of old uh, friends of mine, Terry. Uh, they came and they talked to us, you know, old timers and they showed us some yeah, all the lead and all nice ways to nice. test the creeks and fun heavy stuff. It was cool hangout time and... Uh, we yep, just you know, ate around. some stuff and yep, uh, yep, just yep. talk about the gold. Right there. Nice piece, nice piece too. Look at it. You got a nice little nuggy there. Several bullets and a lot of lead. Lot of yeah, we, we picked up some little 20 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This hit that ground so hard. That goes, up my feet. My toes are frozen. Not frozen, but oh, the sand feels so nice and warm. I just got out of the water. And here we got a nice group photo of the guys who was hanging out and it started getting get darker and you know we got ready to sleep you know and uh, so we could do this in the morning again it was gonna be a beautiful day i have a friend over there but he was picking up and the night was really nice i mean it was awesome on the river Camping on the river, it's the best thing ever, guys. You need to go and uh, hang out. This is nice.